I just moved these colonies this morning a couple hours ago. So that makes them agitated by the simple fact that they were moved. And I needed to check. I've already checked these a couple days ago when they were on the other side of my house on the north side. I'm moving things away from the cold northern wind over to the south side where they get more sunshine and they'll stay warmer. This right here is a hybrid from foliage Russian bees queens. His queens are no good. They weren't mite resistant. The colonies grew slow. They were crap. Basically a waste of money. Half of them died during and after shipping and I didn't get a refund. But because I have a, a good commercial beekeeper in the area, the best in Michigan, Michigan Bee Works, he's got some good quality honeybees and his drones are the best. I bred some of the few, the few fully queens that were left, there was like seven left out of 40 some that I had sent to me. Half of them died, so that's 20 gone. And then that first winter, half of them died that first winter. They weren't mite resistant, so, um, and then a few more in the spring. But by, the, by early summer when I was ready to start breeding queens, I had seven left. And this right here is one of the best. She's gone through three summers. And I just tried, I just did a split and uh, four, four weeks ago and because of the weather it didn't turn out so well. This is why I don't wear gloves. You see that queen there? She, I just saw her. Well anyway, right there. If, if I slip holding this and I drop this frame on the ground, there's a good chance she's going to be killed because I'm holding this smartphone, smartphones for stupid people. It's not mine. It belongs to my wife. I don't like it, but I can't upload anything else on YouTube anymore. So I'm making a video holding the stupid phone in one hand while holding the frame in the other, trying to show you this queen has made it through three summers. This is the best queen. And the 14, also another, this is September 2018, also another great queen. But you see how she's calmed right down? She's not running around. I can take the frame she's on, I can set it aside, I can rearrange frames in the hive. And because I moved them, I had to use smoke. And I didn't take the time to listen to them before I moved them. And I wasn't sure they had a queen because when you use smoke, they're fanning that smoke out of the hive, doing the same thing they do when they don't have a queen. But I managed to find her right away. She is just so cool. I hope she makes it through a third winter. It would be really impressive to have this queen next spring and summer just amazing she's been through two formic pro formic acid treatments which killed 10% of my queens every time I used it and the second time I used it it didn't kill any varroa mites just 10% of my queens so it's a waste of money $400 to have 10% of my queens killed so now I'm using acylic acid acylic acid is much easier on your bees you have to do it several times I'm gonna do it once a week in September through October until I'm sure there's no varroa mites because the commercial bees bring back the varroa mites from the almonds of California where all the bees are concentrated. So um, I have to put up with that if I want to mate with some drones other than my own drones. So anyway, this is a good quality queen, one of the best I have. And I gotta carefully put her down without harming her. That's why it's nice to have hives near a building. If you had them out in the middle of a field, you could only set them on the ground and up against the hive. But I could set them up against my house. And see, she's right there. She's just fine. And the question is, will she make it through another winter? That's why I'm going to take, in about a week or so, I'm going to take and put her in a single deep. And if you've seen my videos... I, sh I put rows of, of deeps in the windows and I'm going to put all my 2018 queens on the very top, top two, the top row of two separate 
stacks of uh, deeps. That way I can go through eh, a couple times a month, once a month, if I'm too busy doing other stuff, and I can check and make sure she's okay. And as soon as I don't find a queen in there, I can combine them inside here with another colony. But when you have your bees outside and you have to wait until it warms up, till spring to check them, a lot of things can happen during that time. And you're losing, you're losing the early brood rearing of January and February. So you want to take advantage of being able to combine your colonies during the winter inside a building somewhere. So that way you can get them started right away. Okay, thank you.